tonight to watch Damien Wright play at the Palladium right here in London. Um, I thought I would book to invite off work and I booked the hotel to invite so I'm here until Sunday afternoon or Sunday morning. But um, when I watching the Greek live tonight. I'm going to do a little bit of shopping and a little bit of sightseeing, hopefully. Anyway, yeah, back here in London. I'm in the same hotel and I'm not in the same room. I'm not on the same floor, but I'm looking in the kind of same direction, albeit a little more that way. So that's the trust me on that. Anyway, that's it from me at the moment. I'm going to make another video later and let you know how it all went. Oh, same with life. Eight years we had to wait for another album. And there are only eight tracks on the album for that one track a year. But you know what? No track on that album are back either. I'm going to give the album a quick review right now actually. Um, my favourite song on there, of course, The Greatest Bastard, which everyone knows, and I Don't Want to Change You, uh, I think that's what I call the story, I'm still a little, I've been awake for God knows how long, I've been awake for a long time, anyway, yeah, the album is really good, long, long way, it's a fabulous track, I mean, in place, it sounds a little bit like cold water, but, it's a lovely song, really, really beautiful. Um, and of course you've got Trust Me and True, which are oh, another good one. Another good one. And what's that, um, oh gosh, I can't remember what it's called, but um, track, I think by, oh I can't remember what it's called. No, it's probably the worst album review ever. But follow me, buy his album, my favourite Sadiq Fantasy. It's worth it, I mean, if you're a fan of that kind of music, you'll like it. If you're a fan of Damien Rice, you'll like it even more, I mean, it, it's wonderful. The only thing I will mention is it's weird not having Lisa Hannigan on there, which, you know, they work together a lot on Mind Crime and Oh. Uh, it is weird her uh, not being on the album, not singing, not contributing. Because, um, Colour Me In, that's the song I was trying to think of. Colour Me In. You expect to hear her on there, and also on quite a few of the tracks, you know, Trust Me In True and Long Long Way. You expect to hear her voice kick in, kick in at a certain moment on the song. But, of course, she's not there, she's not on the album. Although she has been mentioned, she's on the honey bit. Anyway, that's my album review. Go buy it, it's wonderful. Yeah, I bet you're ready to go and watch Damien. Yeah. Hi, um, 
I'm not long got back from the Damien Royalty, but the London Plane Guild. And I have to say, not a one hell of a night, not a cracking Damien. He is a really good performer, really good singer. Um, it took about four or five songs before he began to engage with her, you know, talk to her, tell her a few stories. Um, he was just lovely, <laughs> really good. Oh, gosh. The audience, you know, he had them eating out of the palm of his hand all night long. I mean, everyone, everyone there, oh, and apart from one woman who was right in front of me, I think everyone loved it. He didn't clap. He didn't even stand up, you know, for the time of the he probably wasn't even singing, <laughs> but um, wow, what a night. That train going past, you know, yeah. Um, really good night out, really, really, really good. I love the last song, um, he done to a in two, which is one of my favourites from his new album, and um, we all thought he was on his own on stage at that point. I mean, he was all night on his own anyway. Just him on the guitar, just David White. No backing singer, no um, backing group. Just him and a guitar, which was lovely. But right at the end, when it went during to the intro, the later went on behind him and it revealed um, probably about 30 or 40 singer. And um, everyone, oh, <laughs> everyone fell in love, you know. Even like when he began playing the Blow Up Daughter, I mean, I went, oh, like that. And I heard a few other people going, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, God. Really good night. I didn't take any video, I didn't take that camera in with me. I took my iPhone in with me, but my iPhone, yeah, I dropped it um, this morning, I dropped it on the pavement, I mean I had it in my, I had it in the case, but I never had that on, and it just flew out on the bloody road, and I broke it, but don't even write tonight. Oh, I'm in love with him. <laughs> I am, he's just so cute. He's really cute. Really lovely. I mean, there's so many lines that I have through my head, you know, from Damien Rice. Read me your favourite line. Oh, read me your favourite line. On that book of too many hell. Read me your favourite line. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I've been done with him all over again. I have, I've waited eight years for this album. And it's a lovely, wonderful, wonderful listen. If you haven't got it yet, buy it, download it, or go to HMV or whatever and just buy them, you know, buy it. It's lovely. Um, eight of fun, they're all incredible, they're all really good. And um, it's definitely Damien back to him. Well, you know what? I'll be honest. He oh, the first album oh, that's fabulous. You know, you can't take anything from that. It's the perfect album. Yet nine crime. Damien doesn't like that album that much. And he only performed one song tonight, which surprised me, and that was Nine Crimes, from the album Nine Crimes. Um, I thought he'd probably do uh, Elephant, or Coconut Skin, or Accidental Baby, you know? Oh, Accidental Baby. But yeah, he, he, 
David not really like that album as much as the other one. Oh. Yeah, I feel that album is oh, strong. Oh, oh. Easy. Mine's fine. And oh. They fit side by side each other perfectly. And now of course you've got the third album. My favourite Baby Fantasy. And next to the two of them. You know, it's a trilogy. You've got... Well... <laughs> I'm not even going to go into the music because it's so, or, you know, there's so much going on lyrically, emotionally, the emotional content runs throughout every album he makes. He puts his heart on his sleeve, you know, he literally bears his soul to anyone who will listen. And I think the three albums are absolutely Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. I wouldn't be without them. Anyway, look at the album. Tonight, yeah, that was good. I'm gonna go now. Bye bye. I'm not wearing any makeup. Well, last night I went through the Damien Rice concert. The one off concert at the London Palladium. And, um, well, in a word, brilliant. He was absolutely fabulous. I mean, the venue itself is really beautiful. It's quite ornate, quite over the top, you know, red carpet and wear, gold, ornate plaster work, and, um, it was very posh. I enjoyed it. So we got there, um, I thought I were a band called Broken Twin, who I've never heard of, never heard of before. I didn't even look for them on YouTube, but they sounded amazing, they were good, they were really good. And the crowd actually warmed to them after a little while. And I must mention now, when we got there, waiting for the hero to begin, the music in the background, I think we were running. <laughs> I gave me an obviously a fan of cigarettes. Which we probably gathered that because they have been in Iceland for God knows how long. And Alex Summer, which is John C's boyfriend, John C from Cigar Rock, he, Alex, collaborated on the album with Damien. So, yeah, we got there. All good. I sat down, the show began, and Damien came on. He his first you know, Love Pretty Dog or something, I can't remember what it's called, but he performed that one first, which got everyone to I will say this about the London Plain, the bloody, there's not a lot of room. If you have to get up and get a drink and go to the toilet, everyone else has to stand up and, you know, you walk off because the seats are that close together. Oh, but, you know, very easy to very intimate, really lovely. Anyway, yeah, Damien came on and he performed with his fun. He was just doing it on his guitar, no one else, no backing room, no playing out, just him and a guitar playing. I think there was about three or four tunes before he began to engage with the audience. And when he did, he was so funny, very witty, very quick. <laughs> um, at one point, somebody early on in the show shouted out, Welcome back, Damien, or Welcome back. And stuff like that, Damien replied, I'm not been anyway, I never went away. But, you know, quite true, to be honest. Um, he has collaborated with other, other artists, so he hasn't really been away, he just hasn't made his own music for a little while. But, you know, eight years. Better than 10 years, you know. Eight years is a long time to wait. I will say that. But, you know, it's worth the wait. Absolutely worth the wait. And I've now got very train very fast. Right. Um, they're quite loud. So, yeah, Damien was really funny. He enjoyed himself. That was obvious. He really enjoyed it. And everyone else did, you know. Um, when he performed Volcano, he got everyone in the crowd to join along with him, and that was brilliant. 
<laughs> that was really, really just fun. He had the left side, not the left, anyway. Yeah, he had the right side of the auditorium um, singing, Volcanoes melting down. And then he had the left side, yeah, the left side of the auditorium. They were doing, um, What I want from you is not real. That bit. What I am to you. Um, and then the middle, everyone in the middle had to, like, wail almost. Like, ah, I can't do that. But, um, yeah, we started doing that. And I'm on the right side, obviously, you know, volcano melting down over and over and we're clapping. And it's getting quicker and quicker and we're getting louder and louder. <laughs> Quite rowdy in the end. But, oh God, that was good. He had um, at least two standing ovations, which, you know, well deserved. And um, he gave us some really, really good news. Really good news. He will be doing a big tour next year in the UK, probably around the world. So, yeah, but bad news. Come on. Luckily, you know, as a little kid, I've got some to go to wherever that would be. I don't care, you know. Good night out. A really good night out. I enjoyed it. And I think everyone, everyone bar one woman who was right in front of me and she didn't even clap. Anyway, that's it for me about Damien Wright. Thank you, Damien. Uh, thank you, Linda and Katie. Really nice. Love you. Okay.